welcome back this rb if you like this video at any point hit the like button it's the only way we'll grow and follow me on another platform because i can get kicked off this one any day now let's get it what's your favorite housewife izzy so there are a lot of young miami girls that i follow on instagram a few young servers that i know from some of the restaurants that i go to that i frequent and yesterday a few of my little cuties posted hey in orlando and they were all like in a car and they're like decided to sleep in the car driving home ladies you're 23 years old. You're wasting your prime sugar daddy years on young boys, okay? Young boys are for when you're in your 50s and have enough money to support them. Your 20s are for sugar daddies. You should be passing out on yachts right now. 23 is for marriage and kids, ladies. Having a sugar daddy makes you a prosty. Being a prosty from 18 to 35 doesn't make you wife material. That story doesn't end well, 99% of the time. And maybe this is a one percenter we're watching. But it's not going to work out for you that way. If she, you know, settled down with a high-value man and got married, that's not how it ends. Hot girl summers for 15 years don't end like this, 99% of the time. So please don't listen to this thought, this old thought, this dingbat, this old dingbat. Older don't always mean wiser. Not in the backseat of Nissan's. Don't waste your prime sugar daddy years, girls. There's even a trend right now where girlfriends ask their boyfriends how they feel about Andrew Tate, and if their boyfriends express any sort of support for them, the girlfriend dumps them. The moment a man is held hostage by what his woman thinks, mm -hmm. he has lost his masculinity. Ooh. So the man that I have been going on some dates with, while I was gone, I asked him to just start my car because the battery might die because I was gone that long. I get back, my the outside of my car is clean, and I'm like, oh, wow, he cleaned my car, great. I get it, and I've never seen it. Like, he got it, like, what's it called? Like, like when you get detailed. He got it detailed. Changed my oil. It's at 100 and filled my gas tank. <laughs> but would you dump him if a hotter guy with more money hit your inbox? That's the question. Does she really appreciate it? I mean, I know she's acting excited now. And I hope she really does appreciate it. But how does she show her appreciation? And how loyal is she to this man? The nails are screaming typical modern woman. The fact that she's doing a TikTok period talking about her personal life screams toxic modern woman. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. Like, I might cry. This is the sweetest thing. Is my love language acts of service? I don't know. Hey, TikTok. You know, it's crazy because I um, joke a lot about being single and, you know, I, um, I laugh it off. But I'm 46 years old. And while I'm getting ready for surgery and everything. Probably a BBL. It dawned on me. Hold on. I'm sorry. It dawned on me. That I'm 46 years old. And I don't have a husband to take care of me. Oh well, we don't feel sorry for you. You just now realizing this at 46? I mean, come on. What were you doing for 46 years? You expect us to believe that no nice guys ever hit on you? Stop it. You probably still got nice guys hitting on you now. You're not a bad looking 46 year old, but you still think you're too good for them. I know it. Or you would be with one of them. I'm positive you get nice guys trying to hit on you. Don't you dare feel sorry for this woman. She doesn't deserve it. How many hearts did she break? How many times did she curve genuinely good dudes? Nobody's going to take care of me after my BBL. She wants you to believe that it's like some serious surgery, like her life is in danger. I highly doubt it. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I doubt it. You should have thought about this when you were 21. Or even if you was a late bloomer. <laughs> at 31, at the latest, the hoop earrings is a hotel. Just no. Just absolutely no. I don't have a husband to... Help me. I know it's all about her. I don't got a husband to do this for me or do that for me. 
what would you do for him? She's not talking about anything righteous. Like if you notice women only talk about what a man can do for them, or I'm sad because I don't have a man because he can't do X, Y, and Z for me. Not, I wish I had a man so I could just have genuine companionship and we can help each other out and love each other and be there for each other. It's always what a man could do for the woman. Another reason why you shouldn't feel sorry for her. Get ready. I'm 46 years old and I still need my mama. I know it's pathetic and it's not your mom's responsibility or anybody in your family's responsibility to take care of a grown woman. See, having a husband is a joke to women when they're young. They're just having fun. They don't care about no husband or anything like that, but they don't realize you need a partner in life for when you get sick, for when you're going to have surgery, you know, to help with the bills, everything, just to help with everything in life. Life is hard. But they only start thinking about that type of stuff when they old and effed up or fat or something. She ain't fat, but she old and effed up. And I bet people tried to tell her over the years, she's like, ah, I got time, I ain't worried about it. I still got guys hitting on me. All that is going to get you is D. That's not going to get you somebody to carry you when your leg break or something. <laughs> like To take care of me, post up. I still need my sister, which whether I had a husband or not, they would... They would be there. That's the thing that's messed up. All these modern women today, they're going to be a burden on their whole family when they get older and need something. Most of you women aren't going to make enough money to be secure in older age. You're just not. Even if you're making 60, 70,000, that's not enough. You're not even investing other than whatever is coming out of your check at work. And that's not going to be enough. It's just unfair, man. These people are pieces of crap, man, because they don't mind just being a burden on everyone around them. That's why I just feel like a lot of these women are just pieces of crap. You're totally okay with being a burden on everybody you know. But then when they told you for 20 years to get a man so, you know, you could build a life and have somebody that's there for you, oh, whatever, I ain't paying attention to you. I figure it out. It sucks. You suck. 